Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marsha with Marsha's Mind. What's on my mind today? You are a witch. What? Stay tuned. So the title of this video is You Are a Witch. What do I mean by that? No, I'm not into Wiccan, I'm not into witchery or witchcraft or whatever, but I want to tell you of a process that you can do to get whatever you want. So if you're interested, thumbs up, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, consider that a little bell and hit it so you don't miss a video. Here we go. Going through my ebook and I remembered this segment um, intending process that was taught by Abraham Hicks. If you don't know who Abraham Hicks is, she's all over YouTube. She is a very uh, great teacher of the Law of Attraction and she channels Abraham. Esther Hicks channels Abraham. If that's too much for you, I can understand, but really check her out. She's changed my life, really got me in touch to know what the universal laws are and how to be in alignment with our higher self. So without further ado, Let's get on with the video. This is the 11th process in the book, Ask and It Is Given. It's called Segment Intending, and I do this all the time, almost every day, and I love it. It's so magical. My husband, Rod, says to me, you know, you and the universe have this connection, so make me win the lottery. I replied, the universe adores me, and the universe adores you. You win the lottery. You have the power, too. My friend says at work, you're a witch. Why? because she says Marsha do that thing you do that uh, makes us have a blackout when we want it and uh, that way we don't have to work and I say you can do it you have the power too the reason why people say these things to me is because what I say seems to come true what I want comes to pass and this is not because I'm a witch it's not because I'm magic I deliberately create my reality I deliberately create my life by using the process called segment ending. So I like to intend. I map out my words. I intend my day by segment, segment by segment. Sometimes I'll do the whole day. Sometimes I'll do a certain event. I have intended how trips go from the traffic to the people, to the servers, to if it's busy or not, from great seats to parking spots, from money to finding things. The trick is to set it and forget it. It's easier to create an improved future experience than to change a current experience, one that you're observing. But they encourage the application of segment intending when you're already feeling good and you're in a good mood. Your, your expectation of thought ready before you're inside the segment. So for example, and I've I know I've done a video on this before. One time we were going out to dinner and we were five blocks away from the restaurant. And I said, okay, this is how it's going to be. We're going to get rock star parking. We're going to go in. It's going to be quiet, empty, uh, maybe a couple people. We're going to get a great seat. We're going to be seated like that. The service is going to be excellent. The food is going to be delicious and full and hot and out quickly. And we're going to be in and out like that. Well, we got to the restaurant, perfect parking, went in, empty, maybe two people in a booth. Lady comes up, how many? Seats us right away in a great window booth seat. And the service was awesome. The food was delicious. They were so sweet and nice. And the food was plentiful and yummy. And it was under new management. We keep going back there to, to, this, to this day. And I always intend how the visit's going to be can pre-pave your future that is immediate or more distant you know in the distant future as well and another time I was leaving work and I thought you know what, I'm gonna go to Wendy's so when I get there the line is gonna be maybe one car I'm gonna go in I'm gonna know what I want the person's gonna be nice they are gonna be clear when I hear them and they're gonna hear me I'm gonna get my food it's gonna be hot fast and fresh and when I got there, it was empty. I went through, got my food, bing, bang, boom. The fries were hot and it was wonderful. This makes you feel invincible. I love you feel like there's nothing you cannot do because you will see yourself again and again in creative control of your own life. 
This is awesome. It's so fun to do. But when you do it, you can't be like, okay, this is just, the, it's gonna be like this, 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 and this, and then look and look and search. It's gonna be, oh, it didn't happen. No, you gotta set it and then just forget it and just let it play out however it plays out. You would be surprised how close your day gets to how you intend it. It will feel like magic. It's fantastic. And remember, recognize that everyone you meet is not deliberate in their intending. Knowing that by your deliberate intending, you will be in control of your life experience. You will not be swept up by their confusion, by their drama, their intent, or their influence. So try it today, tell me how it worked, and leave a comment down below if you have done this before and were just so surprised. Okay guys, take care, bye-bye.